I'm Monica Gray at South by Southwest. I'm here with Manoj Fenelon of Pepsi Company, and we're talking about water. So what brings you to South by Southwest to talk about water? That's a good question, Monica. As you know, Pepsi depends on water for its business, but I think Pepsi has a view that goes beyond just the operations part of water. We exist in a world where water is going to be one of the pressing problems. There are some people who go as far as saying if there is a next world war, it will be fought over water. So that's the kind of critical issue that we're facing. And we feel like as one of the big companies that are out there, we have a role to play in this issue. And so what we've done and what I was talking about on the panel um, with David and Chevney was the kind of approach PepsiCo has taken to solving the water challenge, which is very much a business driven approach. We have a portfolio of projects and innovations that we fund through partners like Water.org and the, in partnership with the Skoll Foundation. And we're just looking at innovative approaches of people trying to solve the water issue and how we can be of use in accelerating some of the innovation. And uh, what do you think is the real value of these public-private partnerships? Uh, kind of a lot of the people I've talked to previously have been foundations, um, and you kind of bring a new, unique perspective to the table. I think we're... We're in a place in human history, I think, where this notion of public versus private and all these sort of oppositional things are starting to blur at the edges. So we're very excited about stuff like that. I think some of these issues go beyond the ability of any one sector to solve. So we find it very exciting as an innovation opportunity to partner with people like the UN and the World Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank in Latin America, lots of women-related organizations, especially in places like China, to solve some of these problems. And how specifically do you think technology can be used to raise awareness? It, it, does anything stand out to you since we're at South by Southwest and we're talking about social media and technology. Is there a technology that you think could really be useful in communicating these messages? Well, one of the things that comes to mind is this debate that we're having around strong ties versus weak ties, right? The Malcolm Gladwell um, kind of um, debate, if you will. And I think weak ties, I mean, they have a value in the world. And especially if you talk about connecting people who have water privilege the way I, and that includes all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the privilege to be using the same quality water for all sorts of uses that doesn't have to be at that quality. So there's a lot of waste embedded in our actions. And I'm really interested in how social media, for example, and, and uh, things that are built on social media like crowdfunding and the ability of people to relate across continents. How can all that technological power be brought to bear on this topic of connecting people across different continents who find themselves in different water situations? What if those people were able to talk? What would they talk about? What would come out of that? Well, it's so funny you mentioned because at Plus Social Good, we're all about having a global conversation. So we have audiences all over the world. And I think that if they're watching right now, they're really curious about what they could do if you, if you have any ideas. Um, I, I mean, this is, this is where I think the innovation ecosystem is interesting on its own. I think if you turn people onto the possibilities, I think people can come up with terrific ideas by themselves. But I will also say, you know, this idea of using prizes to motivate fantastic innovation is some is another thing that I think technology can really back. You know, we, uh, Peter Diamandis, who runs the X Prize, he talks very eloquently about the ability of prizes to motivate people. And that's something I think using technology um, just to pick parts of the world that you wouldn't otherwise look at for innovation. But technology is now making it possible for us to gather ideas from just about everywhere, sift through them and make decisions about which ideas that need to be backed or invested in.